If you're selling on Amazon, you might be asking yourself, where should I expand my business to in 2024? What's the best use of my advertising budget? What role does AI play in my business? At Jungle Scout, we're made up of sellers just like you. We've faced the same challenges and wondered the same questions. So we decided to go straight to the source, surveying nearly 2,000 Amazon sellers and businesses from across more than 100 countries and 20 marketplaces. Our mission? To uncover the trends, challenges, and strategies that shaped their businesses last year and to discover their plans for 2024. We compiled all of this data into a report, introducing the state of the Amazon seller 2024. As we step into the new year, e-commerce continues to evolve. With Amazon's annual revenue hitting $554 billion and third-party sellers making up over 60% of sales, the e-commerce giant continues to dominate the market. But the landscape is rapidly evolving. In 2023, over half of Amazon businesses expanded beyond Amazon, exploring platforms such as eBay, Shopify, and Walmart. This shift towards an omni-channel strategy shows that sellers are trying to meet customers wherever they are. Now looking ahead, 36% of businesses plan to expand to Walmart, with Shopify not far behind. Meanwhile, TikTok is the new kid on the block with 20% of businesses planning to explore its potential in 2024. Now a huge part of Amazon's success comes from its global reach, with the United States leading as its oldest and most established marketplace. But for those businesses operating in the US, nearly half are also operating internationally. 2023 marked a pivotal year for AI in e-commerce. Nearly half of all Amazon businesses have now integrated AI tools into their operations, from writing and optimizing listings, all the way to enhancing customer service. The adoption of AI, however, does vary across the spectrum. While 44% of SMBs have already harnessed the power of AI, a noteworthy 69% have on the enterprise side. As we've seen, AI is changing the way that Amazon businesses operate. But how can you, as a seller, harness this power and stay ahead of the competition? Jungle Scout's suite of AI tools are specifically designed for Amazon businesses. Whether you're aiming to optimize your listings, analyze customer sentiment, or seeking a deeper understanding of your sales and profitability, we have you covered. You can try Jungle Scout today with the link below. On Amazon, diversity isn't just about the products being sold. It's about the sellers themselves. From small business owners to seasoned e-commerce veterans or brand managers and agencies, each has their own priorities, concerns, and strategies for success. Diversification is a common theme here. With 61% of sellers and SMBs owning two or more brands and over half maintaining side jobs or side hustles outside of selling online. This also highlights the entrepreneurial spirit driving the sellers on Amazon's marketplace. They aren't just planning to keep up in 2024, they're aiming to dominate by embracing new marketing strategies, exploring new platforms and markets, increasing their market share, and diving into product imports. Enterprise brands are honing in on product research, brand protection, and expanding both online and into physical stores. Yet selling on Amazon is not without its challenges. Sellers and SMBs struggle with getting customer reviews and conducting product research, while enterprise brands struggle with branding and expanding their market share. But one challenge across the board for all Amazon businesses is the rising cost of advertising, shipping, and goods, prompting 45% of businesses to consider partnering with agencies to help navigate these turbulent waters. But despite these hurdles, we've seen that businesses are resilient, they're forward thinking, and they're focused on the road ahead. But navigating the Amazon jungle requires more than just a map. It requires a strategy. Let's dive into the diverse business models and fulfillment methods that shape the Amazon marketplace. For sellers and SMBs, private label leads at 54% as their business model of choice, followed by wholesale and retail arbitrage, offering multiple paths to success on Amazon. But choosing the right business model is just part of the equation. The other crucial part is your fulfillment strategy. With 82% of businesses opting for FBA, despite a slight decline, it's clear that FBA continues to be the preferred choice of fulfillment, yet a significant 34% still choose FBM, taking control of their logistics and customer interactions. A quick glance at the numbers shows that 64% opt for FBA exclusively while 14% choose to go their own way with FBM only, and interestingly, 
22% of sellers blend both fulfillment types, maximizing their flexibility. But what about the products that these sellers are bringing to the marketplace? As we pivot from how sellers deliver to what they deliver, let's dive into chapter four where we explore the trending products and categories on Amazon. In a marketplace where you can find everything from the essentials to the extraordinary, certain categories stand out for their popularity and profitability. For SMB sellers, home and kitchen leads the way, followed closely by beauty and personal care. On the other hand, enterprise brands prefer the appliances category, also followed by beauty and personal care. As we look at the top categories for all businesses, you'll see that the top three all retain their positions from the prior year. When it comes to sourcing these products, while China continues to be a leading supplier, the landscape is shifting. We've seen a notable rise in sourcing from India and growing interest in Belgium and Vietnam, reflecting the ongoing mission for businesses to find cost efficiency and quality. But how many products are businesses sourcing and selling? Well, on Amazon, size does matter. While the vast majority manage catalogs of 50 or fewer products, the divide is pretty clear when we look at the two business types. Over three quarters of SMBs have less than 10 products, whereas almost half of enterprise brands boast catalogs of 100 products or more. When it comes to the price of these products, we found that over half of Amazon businesses price their products between $16 and $50, a price point which caters to a wide range of shoppers. But what does this pricing strategy mean for their bottom line? Well, as we enter chapter five, let's dive into what their sales and profitability look like. For sellers and SMBs, an impressive 19% are breaking the barrier of $10,000 in monthly sales, proving that Amazon can become a lot more than a mere side hustle. On the grander scale, 78% of enterprise brands bring in monthly sales exceeding $50,000, with a significant portion reaching into the hundreds of thousands. But the journey doesn't end with sales. Profitability is the North Star of any business. Over half of Amazon sellers and SMBs boast net profit margins above 10%. Even more impressive though, 81% of enterprise brands report the same, with 54% of them enjoying profit margins above 20%. Despite a challenging 2022, more than a quarter of SMBs reported a profit increase the following year, and a staggering 62% of enterprise brands reported the same, with the majority seeing an increase between five and 10%. As we turn the page from the financial victories and challenges of the past year, in chapter six, we'll explore what it truly takes to sell on Amazon in 2024. Now time is money, as they say, and nowhere is that truer than on Amazon. As a new seller, there's so much to learn. Yet despite all of that, we found that nearly three quarters of sellers get their businesses up and running in under six months. Most spend four to 20 hours per week on their businesses, but interestingly, we've seen the number of people who spend four hours or less per week increase in 2023, which makes sense with the rapid adoption of AI and the overall shrinking catalog sizes. Starting an Amazon business requires an upfront investment and over half of sellers kickstart their journey with less than $5,000. And the good news? Well, this investment pays off quickly with more than a third of sellers turning a profit in under six months and over half of them within their first year. But how do they get there? Well, in the competitive marketplace of Amazon, advertising is not just an option, it's a necessity. That's why 84% of Amazon businesses leverage advertising to stand out. All the way from PPC ads on Amazon to paid search on Google. And let's not forget social media, with nearly half of businesses showcasing their products across these platforms. If you wanna see the breakdown of each specific ad type, then make sure to download our full report where you'll learn exactly where sellers ad spend dollars are going, plus a lot more. The link is in the description. So what is it that drives over 3000 new sellers to join Amazon every single day? Well, the motivations are as varied as the sellers themselves. For many, it's the desire to be their own boss, the need for extra income, or the lure of a new challenge. Sellers are motivated by a variety of goals, from building a business they can sell, to simply seeking a change in their work and income. But what they nearly all agree on, they wish they'd started their Amazon journey sooner. Now knowing that, if you've been on the fence about selling on Amazon, then don't wait another day. 2024 is your year and Jungle Scout has the best data and tools to help set you up for success. No matter what your reason is for getting started or where you are in your selling journey. Click the link below to get started with Jungle Scout today. 
Now, before I say goodbye, one last reminder that you can download the entire report below to learn even more about how sellers are winning on Amazon and their plans for 2024. Now, if this video has you excited about the strategies that Amazon brands are using in 2024, but you don't know where to start yourself, then make sure you watch this next video where Jake breaks down a five-step plan to build your own Amazon business for the long term. Check it out.